And this side of town really kind of freaks a lot of people out. Tell me about the chicken. Welcome, Unearthers, to a place where the dust of movie legends mingles with the whispers of the past. Today we embark on a ghost hunting journey at the historic Mescal movie set in the heart of Southeast Arizona. Founded between the years of 1968 and 1969 for the film Monty Walsh, this cinematic gem has witnessed the footsteps of Hollywood icons. From the classic, the outlaw, Josie Wales, with Clint Eastwood. Why, well, you're gonna pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. <laughs> to the star-studded tombstone, starring Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Winner to the king, $500. <laughs> Shut up, bye. <Ike. laughs> you must be Doc Holliday. <coughs> That's the rumor. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime. Yeah, you look it. Mescal has etched its name into the annals of Western movie history. But beneath the glitz of Hollywood lies a town that's seen the passage of time. As the sun sets, shadows of the past seem to emerge from the wooden structures, creating an eerie backdrop for our paranormal exploration. Hero has ventured out to this historic location to partake of a tour put on by the movie set and Tucson Ghost Company. Hero wanted to learn more about not only the film history, but also interact with the beings that called this land home long ago to see if there is more going on than just the action behind the camera. So we're going to go down and we're going to do a walking tour. We'll collect down up, out, on the, out on the street here and I'll walk you down the street. We're going to stay on the main street and we've opened up five buildings that have had uh, reported paranormal activity before. This is the sixth or seventh hunt we've done out here. To be honest, when I was first approached, I said, why do a hunt out here? It's a movie set. It was never a town. Sure, people got shot in the movies, they got hung out here and stuff, but it was all in the movies. 
Okay, but through the last 50 or years or more, uh, there have been extras that have died on set. There have been caretakers and other people that have had their ashes on set. And as time has gone on and we've had uh, more and more ghost tours, we've had more activities because we've been accumulating the antiques coming on set. Uh, and we'll kind of explain that as we go through the building. As we tread through the alleys of this Western relic, we can't ignore the whispers of the indigenous peoples who once called this land home. Archaeologists deem the Tucson Basin along the Santa Cruz River as the oldest continuously inhabited area in the United States. Many tribes have many sacred ties to the area, including the Hohokam, the Ikmel Otom, Apache, Hopi, Maricopa, Yaki, Tahana Otom, Yavapai, and the Zuni all echo through the Rincon Mountains. Tonight, we're not just ghost hunting in the shadows of silver screens. We're unraveling the stories imprinted in the very fabric of this place. Join us as we navigate the ethereal realms where the cinematic and the supernatural collide. This set has been here for, we've been filming uh, since the 1950s on the land. Uh, and since the late 60s, 70s, they built the town up and that type of thing. You're on sort of a historic set where a lot of famous movies and famous actors uh, have, uh, have uh, played. So let's all go out to the uh, street, let's stay together, and then follow me for the uh, quick tour. How many people saw the movie Tombstone? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay. Right well, one of the buildings you're going to go into is right here. That looks like two buildings. It's actually one. The building on the right that's stucco, that was the pool hall where Morgan Earp got shot in the movie Tombstone. The red building was the Oriental Saloon. That's where Wyatt had his pharaoh table. That's where the famous scene happened where Doc Holliday was spinning the cup and Johnny Ringo was spinning the gun. Okay. The Oriental and the pool hall, right there. Those buildings are open. The two-story building here, our mercantile. That was built by Clint Eastwood's production for the uh, Outlaw Josie Wales. Okay. Good movie. Good movie. It was also, if you saw Quick and the Dead, any Leonardo DiCaprio fans, that was his gun shop in the Quick and the Dead. So you had Russell Crowe, you've had Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, a lot of actors in there. This has had a lot of activity. We've had reported uh, at, at least three of the ghost hunts we've done, there's felt the presence and even seen in the window, a small girl has been seen in that building. We don't, I call her Sugar. Whenever I lock the door or something, I'm always nice and speak very nicely to Sugar. Okay, so that building is open there. Again, that was Clint Eastwood's building. We're gonna come down to the big hotel, the yellow building. You saw that in Tombstone, that was the Grand Palace. This is where Wyatt and Virgil and everybody came up in their wagons and got out. This building was built in 1970 for a movie called Dirty Dingus McGee. Anybody ever seen that one? Yeah, that's, that's a good movie. That starred Frank Sinatra. So you had You're Frank Sinatra right. actually acting Double. inside that building. <laughs> it was seen prominently in uh, Tombstone. Anybody know who Steve McQueen is? Oh yeah. He was arrested in that building. The other movie we're going into is the bank. The bank has creeped out a lot of people. Okay. Last month when we had this, uh, people had felt touched. Uh, they recorded some voices. And this side of town really kind of freaks a lot of people out here.
Can you do it? Sit over this side. Turn my back to the opening. Halti do not call. Tis it don't cease. Bit do not your house. You keep it all day. Team if the house can see. So, what do we got going on for dinner, guys? Dinner plans, or are you guys all asleep already? If the town cheese bombs can't skill in it, everyone hands off. See, if they don't have high. So beans here, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go on. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to a different uh, different building. There's still gonna be people here, interact with them, talk with them. But I'm gonna go ahead and go on to a different building here, guys. Yeah. Later, it's just not right now, right? Interesting. Adultery. <laughs> Am I allowed to be back here? I asked that question earlier. I said later. Are you going to say it again? a little bit more, shall we? Strength. Strength. Ashes. Ashes. Are you referring to the ashes that were spread around the property or on the outside of the property? Breaker. Movie, Breaker's Law, filmed here last March. Breaker's Law, are you referring to the movie that was filmed here?
Can I go into the vault? I'm going into the vault. Just don't lock me in here. Alright, so I'm gonna set this up in the corner. What? Matter hair. Plate. Plate. What did that say? Patricia. Patricia? Yeah. Matter hair. Plate and Patricia. There's not a whole lot of coherence when it comes to those words. You have to say what you want to say a little bit better. What's the story of this chicken? Tell me about the chicken. What would happen if I were to steal the gold here? Probably nothing. What are you saying, hero? Yes, teach a shka, song skinny, eat here once a hush. Teat a hunky a shka, scoot in the zift in the Wapuntahova. I'd like to make a withdrawal. That's all possible. I'm going to get a withdrawal. I'd like to get myself five dollars. You have five dollars, sir. Fifty years, you've had enough caretakers. Is there five dollars underneath the ground? I have to dig for it. Or are you a miner? Disaster. Interesting. What happened here that was a disaster? Or is my accent a disaster? How about that five dollars? I like to talk. Nice, cool. So, five dollars. Is five dollars a lot to you? Is five dollars not a whole lot? That'll tell me what time period you come from. Is five dollars a lot? Do you like the bat that's in here? Ich bin sich, ha, und ich dann sah und ich, ich don't see can't say it. Okay. Ich die die Anschauen sei ich dann sah. Should I turn off the lights? I'll turn off the light, okay? All right. Spiritual beings, can you go ahead and walk in front? Try to touch the lights on the walls here. Can you do that? Prove. Yeah, I'm trying to, we're trying to see, we're trying to see you. With our eyes, we can't see you in your normal form, so we're hoping that you can touch the lights up there and be able to show us that you're here. Cover up those lights on the walls. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next building, but have fun with the other people that are here, okay? And just so you know, before I leave, I'm gonna give a tobacco offering for all the beings here. So when we all leave, be on the lookout for that. Have fun with it.
Watch your eyes, people. <laughs> There's going to be a bright light. <laughs> Imagine investigating and then turning on lights afterwards so you can collect everything. That's Hold always painful. <laughs> So for you beings that don't understand that language, so my name is Hero, and I uh, come with a lot of these people here, with a lot of the, the, the visitors here. You may have heard about me walking around the other buildings, but uh, we're here to, to speak with you, to communicate with you, hear your story. And so over here I have a, I have a camera, over here I have uh, other equipment. So you see this little light here, you see the light on the chair, and I have a device in my hand too. And they're all means to communicate, they're all means to allow you to tell your story. So, so I'm gonna turn this on. The way you can go to interact is you can just come up. Oh my God! How did you die? Just touch it like that. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Okay. So you just touch it like that. It makes a noise. It's not gonna do anything to you. Or you can come over here, and you can touch this like this. It lights up a lot of pretty colors. Okay. And then Ori can come up to my hand right here and you can yell as loud as you can. Try to say your words, okay? Okay. So are there any beings here that want to communicate? It's pretty quiet in here. Not a whole lot of activity, right? That's kind of super quiet in here. So I'm gonna leave this right here. I'm gonna turn on an actual app and help you communicate, okay? Not Garth Brooks, I'm sorry. That's the one wasn't Garth Brooks. Ich This one said cards, quick, and house. Do you know what I have in my bag, huh? It sounds like yeah. <laughs> Okay, I can pull those out if you want. Sorry. 
Ready? Okay. Am I okay to pull out the cards that you want to play with? Yeah, it's my name. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the cards, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna put them right here. You can go ahead and play with them if you want. What kind of games do you like to play? Is there a little girl that's here? Is that who's coming through? King no. Lie. So there is kings in that deck. Not sure what you mean by no or lie though. You know what would be wild? Is if I flip the top card and it's a king? Not a king. It's a jack. Jack spades. So if it wasn't a king, sorry. What's your story? What brought you here? We can't smoke tobacco here. It's been revoked. Okay, if you guys want, you can come take a look at the words that I'm saying on the Oculus. Oh, it just said grave. Grave? Yeah, you can take a look right there, too. Really, what's it? I'm good. What should be me to be afraid of? Okay, Sorry. I'm gonna take these away though. We gotta get going to another building before we close. Thank you so much for speaking to us, interacting with us. I will have tobacco at the end of the day, at the end of the tour here. So tell your friends, tell all the spirits around. When we're leaving, I'm gonna go ahead and give that tobacco off. And you guys can share it amongst yourselves. You guys can enjoy it. It'll be yours to partake of, okay? It's in Shkansa. Open up, Pichi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Many blessings. Remember, tobacco at the end of the night. Ich will schon sagen, 
So, those of you that don't understand the language or have not been following me through the buildings, I, my name is Hero, and yeah, this is who I am. I'm the Juice Navajo. And I'm sitting here interested in playing a card game. I'm interested in playing some Pharaoh. Do you think you can teach me? I'm like, I don't know Pharaoh. I know Blackjack, a little bit of poker, but I don't know how to play Pharaoh. Can you teach me how to play this game? I am a youngin', but I'm willing to lay down some tobacco as a, as a bet. It's cancel. Oh, Hunks can skin a Johnson. She can skin a So, there was a lot of movies that were filmed here. Which one was your favorite? Milk cup? So, what's the first move? Bet? Okay. I'll put this right here, okay? We'll put it on that. Is that a legal move? No? Sorry if it's not a legal move. I don't know how to play it. I ask you guys to teach me how to play. It's console and skits in I'm gonna grab a millimeter, okay? It's starting to get a little chill. So you can put this right here and just touch it like this and it'll light up, okay? All right. What was your favorite movie here? Yeah. 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 Is there a little girl here? Baseline of 0.1 milligauss. Temperature showing 72.2. Place my bet somewhere else. I'm right here. Is that legal? It's conscious. What's in the kids? I'd like to speak to who's in charge of the town now. Can you sit in the chair across from me? Use the money. <laughs> um, the only thing I have, I really don't have anything as far as for money is concerned. Not on me right now. Unless I have tobacco, would you like that? Alright, if I go 
dark one? No, we're not playing with souls here. Is that a little bit better or is this light still too bright? Yeah. 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 All right, she laid down the money. What's her next move? Good job, good job. Go ahead and keep trying to pull it. Take it if you want. Take it back. <laughs> Do <laughs> 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 Oh, did you? Did it? Okay, it sounded like it could have been something that I only heard. I don't know if anyone else heard. It said leave. Oh, it sounded like that. I don't know if you heard that too. I heard. Yeah, I heard leave at first, and then it said. Why do you want me to leave? <laughs> Dang! Why? She gave you money! She gave you money! Why are you guys being mean to her? It's super cold on my right hand side now, guys. We just had a 2.1 spike not too long ago. The money's got a 0.3. Yeah. Not too much of a spike, but interesting. You got it. Come on, guys. Point five. You almost had that money. Chilling at point four now. We gotta get going here. It's about time for us to leave. Do you have any final words for us? Yes. Yes. Do we have to guess? Can she use this for gas money? I'll just leave it for you. She's something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> yeah.
I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, okay guys? Keho, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for communicating. Thank you for allowing all of us to be here. And on behalf of everyone that's coming here, uh, when I, before I leave, I'm gonna do a tobacco offering outside the grounds over here to the, to the east. So go ahead and tell your friends, tell everyone all the spirits here. They can partake of the tobacco, enjoy it, share amongst you guys. So Keho, thank you for your stories, your messages. I'm sure there's probably some things that we heard on there on my camera. And uh, I'm sure this is not the last time we'll see you guys. So yeah, thank you. Even though it was difficult with all the guests on the tour, Hiro was still able to make contact with the beings that frequent this historic set. Hiro performed an offering ceremony and sang several blessing songs once all the patrons had left and was able to make even more astonishing discoveries about why this town has spiritual activity. Hiro plans to return to expand on the newfound information sometime in the near future. But in the meantime, remember to think beyond written history. We are unearthing the supernatural. <laughs>